Hello again and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Mental Fox here. Thanks for joining me again. Well, we're still exploring this uh, big secret area underneath of the Mason's Guild. Does this work? Let's see. Can we light this candelabrum? We can. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're just exploring this place. We had a fight with um, some uh, shadows in the last episode. Here's some uh, their vestiges over here. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm having a little trouble getting my bearings here. Um, it's been a couple days since I played the last episode. And um, <laughs> I'm not remembering which direction I was heading. So uh, it looks like uh, I've already looked at these rows of books here. So I guess I'm heading... We're, we're going this way. So I guess this is probably a shadow vestige that I haven't even looked at yet. So, uh, yeah, let's keep exploring this place, looking for uh, whatever we can find, like uh, this scroll of fly. We'll pick that up. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just keep on exploring, seeing what there is to see. Here's something called a rich and fertile land. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora with a special emphasis placed on areas for prolific foraging. I think we've seen that thing before. Oh, we can only read it. We can't even pick it up. So it will stay there. Here's a wardrobe here. Let's see what's inside. Uh, you know, we got some clothing. Swarthy Wayfarer in green, a most adventuresome and spring-heeled variety of ensemble, perfect for journey makers and risk takers. And then here it is in blue. We will send those back to camp and maybe we'll sell those one day to help fund our expeditions. Should mine my step. What are we gonna find down here, man? This place is crazy. More rows of books. Uh Corsairs of Luskin. This cultural analysis spends a good number of pages on Luskin. Tucked like a gold filling, or some would say a pus-filled abscess at the mouth of the river Mirar, Luskin is a city of merchant princesses, swarthy bandit princes, and the most diverse cutthroat and fractured cabal of pirates on Toril. Torn into factions, these piratical groups are known as ships. Here the book details each faction with a frankly dizzying attention to detail. The one point of interest is that the ship Kurth faction are in fact controlled by a secret mercenary company of drow. Okay. I guess we'll take that with us. More books. Another book, Harvest of Memory. Brought to the Shadowfell, which is a reflection of the world you're in and a dark reflection too, rife with wickedness and twisted echoes in despair by their raven queen, the Shadar Kai are elves. Not elves as you might find along the Sword Coast, but elves that reflect their home with their physiology and attitude. On the whole, they are cruel, nasty-minded people who are nonetheless singularly devoted to their queen and her domain of power. That domain is life and death, and in their unwavering fealty to their mistress, the Shadar Kai performed the thankless duty of ferrying the memories of the dead for her to admire in a kind of memory-based menagerie. Okay, whatever. That made no sense to me and meant absolutely nothing to me. Uh, Shadow Vestige, what do you have to say? A distant memory of a man stretching his back with a groan. Another day of hauling masonry blocks done. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be hard work, right? Uh, stacks of books over here. Um, nothing for us to pick up. But a candle we could light makes it all worthwhile. Okay, well, um, is that it? Is this the place? Have we seen everything? Um, let's take a look at the map. I mean, the map looks pretty pretty exposed so I guess that's the whole thing I guess we could leave and then go adventuring someplace else get stairs that go up here I 
guess this is the way out. I feel like I'm missing something down here. But I'm sure you guys will tell me if I am. But we're going to go ahead and head on out of here. And then explore the surrounding area some more. There's a couple ways out of here, isn't there? Oh, there's a ladder. There's an elevator. We'll take uh, the ladder, because that's the way we came down, I think. Back in the Masons Guild. <sighs> yeah, that was the um, the hatch that we had found. So, uh, have we explored all the hidden areas here? Uh, maybe. Maybe we have. What do we do now? Man, we've got this over here. Just this little area over here that, for whatever reason, didn't get explored. We've got this up here, which may may stay unexplored unless we find a boat to go swimming around in the water there. Um, but um, as far as quests go, well, what do we got here? Uh, I think I think here ends this act. I believe somebody told me in the comments, so I don't think I want to go there yet. Uh, I don't know if this goes anywhere. But I do know that we want to... How come I'm not seeing any of my quests on here? Where was that person who wanted us to find out about... Um... Um... um remember it was like... Yeah, let me look at the quest and see if I, I can figure it out. Shadow Cursed Lands. Punish the wicked. Give the ledger to he who was. We found the ledger. We should give it to he who was. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Okay, I must have missed this. Yeah, um, I mean, that's quite a ways over there, though. Wow. That's quite a ways over there. What else do we have to do here? We could find the night song. Okay, that'll be in the mausoleum. Res rescue Wolbrin. Oh gosh, we gotta go back to Moonrise Towers too, don't we? Rescue the Duke, he's also in Moonrise Towers. Rescue the Tieflings, also in Moonrise Towers, I believe. Kill Raphael's old enemy, this is in the Mausoleum. Lift the Shadow Curse. Uh, this is Wake Art Cullog. Find Zevlor. Hmm. The Tieflings were ambushed by the cultists out in the darkness. Zevlor urged them to surrender, and in the confusion, the cultists attacked kidnapping several of the tieflings. Huh. Zevlar was captured by the cult of the Absolute. His fellow tieflings came. He froze and tried to surrender. We look for him. Probably in Moonrise Towers. Punish the wicked. Wake up art and find Maul. We also don't know where Maul is. Wow. So maybe we can make a detour over here before we go back to Moonrise Towers, because we are going to have to go back to Moonrise Towers. There's a hidden treasure here, apparently. And I don't think I want to go back to Last Light to wake up Art Cullock just yet, so let's go ahead and see if we can't make our way south here, and then we'll go east, and um... No, I'm not seeing it again. Oh, that's because it's way up here. Punish the boy. Is, he is really, really far away, isn't he? Oh, um... Actually, there is another place that we need to go back to. Uh, man, if I could remember how to get there. Remember it was where we fought those cursed Kuo towels or whatever they were? And somewhere up here... <laughs> I don't remember how to get there. Um... Yeah, man. Whew. Yeah, this area here, I think. All right, let's get out of the the guild place here. Do I want to go up here? Yeah, let's let's take my team up here if I can. And um, 
I don't know why I'm having such a hard time remembering things. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I played. But it was a long time ago that I fought those cursed ca Kuo towels or whatever. So, yeah, I don't remember... I don't remember how I got to them. I really don't. It was uh, 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 like a cursed, ominous crevice is what it was called. And um, it's not on the map, but it's somewhere over here. <laughs> Where the heck was that? How did I get to that crevice? We were adventuring. <sighs> wow. Hmm, boy, I am not remembering at all. Who's this over here? Sister Vanessa. Okay, so these are the people that are walking around the, um... The House of Healing. Was it a place under the House of Healing? My goodness, I don't remember how to get there. I just don't remember. Whoa, camera. Whoa, camera, whoa. Oh, here is, yeah, this, that's the house of healing there. This is the mausoleum. We don't want to go in there just yet. Uh, okay, this is, this is the, where we were fighting the, um, cool. So maybe there is nothing else for us to see over here. Maybe we have explored all of this. Yeah, maybe we have. Yeah, they're still down here. So maybe I'm okay. Maybe it is time to move on, huh? Yeah, we already we already looted all these guys. We already came down here. Um, it doesn't look like this goes anywhere. But like back in here... If we go back in here, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back up. Because remember, this was at like the bottom of a big pit. So I don't think I'm going to be able to go back that way. So yeah, there's water here. We can't go any further this way. I mostly just walked this way because I wanted to expose this part of the map. Just clear out this fog here. That's really why I went there. So yeah, man, I think it's time we go back over here. Uh, but there's no good fast travel point. I guess we could fast travel to here and then walk across this way and go over and give the ledger to he who was. So let's do that. I expected to find lurking in this cursed gloom. I'm a dead man. Certainly wasn't this. Glimmer of hope as long as we can the darkness. That's one way of looking at it. You could also say it's a prime target, the one pocket of light in the gloom. Okay. Oh, oh, pragmatism. Thy name is Shadowheart. You're not wrong, though. Best we keep our sojourn here to a minimum. So I guess this is maybe the first time I brought Gale here. When we came here before, perhaps we were with someone else. Back into the nasty, shadow-cursed lands. I think we want to go... No, we want to go this way. We want to turn left back here. We're going to go this way. We've explored all this, so I don't think we're going to find anything new. Go up here, and then we'll turn right. Uh, maybe we would go across this up to here. Okay. I don't know what happened. What? Why are you always oh, in the vines? Nice job. Okay, we come around this way. 
Oh, now what? Maybe we go up here? Where the heck is this guy? <laughs> Where the heck is he? Am I going the right way? Yeah, go... to our left. Go this way. Boy, this guy is really hidden. Here he is. Here he is. So, wow, do you remember when we first met this guy? I don't know if the journal's gonna tell me a whole lot, really. But yeah, um, he who was wants to bring justice to the victims of a murderer. To do so, he needs a ledger belonging to the killer. It is hidden in the waning moon. Now, we found the ledger. Companion. Uh, Companion. It is. None could ever replace you. Um, I mean, do I have the ledger? Is it called ledger? Madel we have Toll House Ledger and Madeline's Ledger. I think this is it. Uh, the words for the words for the attention of Dark Justiciar Natasha are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt from the last page. Morning, day fifteen. Sim Simon Nowak said Catherick wouldn't hold on to Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18, Amani Atakni claimed it was unfair that the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. I'm not sure if this is the right ledger, but I don't remember reading this. Night, day 22, Mark Jacobs, Benjamin Blanchett, made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Ketherick. Said he was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful, Lady Natasha. Yeah, we did read this. But they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut, and were the drunkest I'd ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over heart, I, you've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady, I swear it. A different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat, I promise. Okay. And this person is Madeline. So. Let's go, um... Talk to this guy. I'm gonna hit a five. Our orders do not matter. We make our own destiny now. Hmm. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. Mm hmm. Tell me why you want it first. Here, take it, or how do you know I have the ledger? How do you know I have it? The raven always knows. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he sounded like he's so tired of asking that question or answering that question. The raven always knows. Uh, eh, tell me why you want it first. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. All right, fine, take it. Here. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Uh, what? Make her beg. Make her suffer. Um, I'm here to make sure she sees justice, or I'm going to punish her thoroughly, or... As a bard, we could say, I'd like to hear her story first. I imagine it's quite the tale. Or, I think I'll just kill you instead. Well, I'm not going to click on that. Let's use our bardness. I would like to hear her story. Careful. For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. It's quite a ledger. It's a big book. Witness. You... 
He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Mm-hmm. Start with, why don't you tell me what happened? We could say, you didn't mean to kill your friends? How laughable. Or we could say, it's all right, I'm not here to judge you. Well, why don't you tell me what happened? I said, it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. Uh-huh. If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? Yeah, I would like to know that. Why did you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. Oh, jeez. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Okay, well, we could try to persuade her and say anything. Then hurt yourself as Ben and Mark did. Stab yourself. We could try to use our bardness and our persuasion to say, Yours is a classic tale of cowardice. Were you a character in a tale of mine, I would kill you off immediately. Or... We could try to use our persuasion and say, when I tell this tale, you won't be the villain I promise the Dark Justiciar is to blame. And I don't know what to do with this. Um, so, her friends were drunk complaining, and then she goes and snitches on them. And then immediately feels bad about it and is worried about it. Worried that she just got her friends in trouble. And she did. She got him killed. But I mean yeah, it's, it's terrible. I mean, she was doing what she was told to do which I can understand you know, in certain situations you know, you're scared uh, the, the Dark Justiciar demands that you tell everything big or small but it's still a pretty crappy thing to do to your friends. Um, this he who was guy, I mean, I don't, I don't see any like scars on his stomach or anything. I, I was wondering if maybe he was one of the people that died and now he's this somehow. I don't know. And he's just trying to get some, not necessarily revenge, but maybe a little bit of revenge. But I, um, I mean, does she deserve this? You know, does she deserve to stab herself? Does she deserve that? Does she deserve to be killed off? But also, I don't know, I kind of feel like the Dark Justiciar is to blame. Right? I mean, the, the Dark Justiciar, you know, um, what, threatened her, threatened everybody? She was so afraid of the Dark Justiciar that she felt like she had no choice. I mean, I don't, I don't know the whole story. I mean, if she was really, really was good friends with those people, yet she still told the Dark Justiciar, that shows how afraid she was and how much power the Dark Justiciar had over her. The problem is, though, is that if I don't do what this guy wants, then I'm probably going to have to fight him. Um, I mean, she was kind of a coward, though, too, you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm probably driving you guys crazy. I don't know what to do here. I don't think she deserves this. I don't necessarily think she deserves to be killed off either. Uh, there's, I, just, I feel like there should be somewhere in between these two, you know? Um, boy, it sure is important that she face justice, though. I don't know. I think the Dark Justice Yard is to blame. That's what I'm picking. For some reason, we have to persuade her of this. I don't really understand why this is a persuasion... I mean, why would she not agree with this? But this is what it wants me to do.
What I did was wrong. And I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her. Mm hmm. What happened wasn't her fault. She deserved forgiveness. Do not speak to me like that, or you whine more than she did. <laughs> Dude, it wasn't her fault. That doesn't matter. I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. You have oh, crossed geez. me. Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. And for that, I end your pathetic life. Great. Okay, so Shadowheart was inspired, which is surprising to me. I thought Shadowheart would hate that. Because she loves Dark Justiciars. <laughs> I thought she would hate that, but no, she was inspired. So now we need to fight this guy and his crow. Uh, so yeah, uh, Shadowheart here, um, let sleeping dogs lie, prevent he who was from completing his task. For whatever reason, that inspired Shadowheart. And then over here, punish the, the wicked, quest completed, he who was wanted Madeline punished, we forgave her instead, he was furious, and now he must die. Let's see, let's see what we're up against here. 76 hit points. For him, 18 hit points for the Raven, but I am worried about what kind of stuff this Raven can do. Um, as is customary, Astarion gets to go first. Um, this thing here, when I first got it, I thought it sounded pretty cool, but I guess I just haven't found the right use for it yet, because the well, I only used it one time, but I didn't like it. So this guy here, let's learn a little bit about him. He uh, has something called Burden of Time Aura. Beasts and humanoids have disadvantage on saving throws while within three meters of this creature. Elves are unaffected by this temporal magic. Interesting. Uh, he is resistant. He, well, he has necrotic immunity. So use anything but necrotic against him. I'm considering just taking out the bird first. Uh, it looks like he's going to attack the bird. <laughs> um, I mean... I feel bad attacking the bird. The bird didn't do anything to me. Although the bird was a jerk when we first met it. I don't know if you remember. Uh, but the bird has no resistances. But if we could kill off the bird right away. I mean, I'm worried this bird has some things up its sleeve. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can't do a sneak attack. Because I don't have advantage. But um, I could do a good old firebolt here. And, or I could do magic missile and see if I could just finish this guy off. I'm gonna try to finish off this bird. That ought to do it. So the bird's dead. Now we only have to fight one guy. And, um, why don't you sneak over here With the and then crouch down and then maybe you'll get a sneak attack next time. Uh, it's gonna be his turn now. So what's he going to do? Have been judged and found wanting. Okay, so we can do some counter spells against this guy. Um, they cast fear on us, so let's just slap a counter spell back at him. Oh, I have to do it to both of us? Do I have to do it to both? Okay, okay so we, 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 we reflected that back. Oh, he is... No way! Did you see that? He's one of those Shadar Kai guys. And that book that I read that made no sense to me at all. Shadar Kai Gloomweaver. Be damned. Yeah, we just read that book. Oh, it's Shadowheart's turn. Um... Latest... Is it Harvest of Memory? Oh. Will this be her action? Oh, anyway, you remember the book. I, I didn't understand it, but it mentioned his type. Okay, it's Shadowheart's turn. This guy's standing here. He's getting ready to attack Fox, it looks like. What is, like, the most damage I could do to this guy? 
Uh, we're standing pretty close to him, so we could probably use something that we don't normally use. I mean, fear. Targets drop everything and become fearful. Let's try to cast fear on him. He tried it on us. Let's try it on him. You gonna be afraid? He saved. Crap. All right, that's not good. Well, let's go ahead and get the spiritual weapon out. Uh, what do you want to? What do you want to hit this guy with? A, a, a halberd? That feels pretty good. Let's hit him with a halberd. <laughs> I love Shadowheart. Uh, okay, so that's that. And now it is the blade's turn. Although it looks like it's still Shadowheart's turn. Okay, I thought I hit end turn. What happened there? I speak. They burn. All right, it's actually Gale's turn now. And um, what we could do with Gale is, let's see, we've got Poison Spray, we've got Melf's Acid Arrow. kind of hate to put acid on the ground, though, because that hurts my team, and this might hurt my team. We, we're certainly not going to do anything necrotic against him because he's immune to that. So, I mean, we could do good old fire. You know, fire is always a good thing to use. So let's 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 cast some fire at this guy. Eat this. Eat this is what it sounded like he said, but I think he actually said like Ignis. Okay, that'll do it for uh, Gale's turn. Where do I go from here? Where do you, where do you go from here? Um. Okay, target's too close to shoot at him. We could um. I could try to command him. And only thirty six percent chance because we're still too close. I think. 60% chance to get him to flee. Flee. He's, he's saved versus that. Okay, then. Well. Uh, I mean, I could try an offhand attack. I could try a flourish and see if we can knock him off balance. Let's try it. He's saved versus that. This guy's saving versus everything. Okay, Astarion, can you do a sneak attack on him? Probably can. Yes, I like this. 26 points of damage. Nothing to sneeze at. Go back into hiding. Now they see me. He's down to 31. Problem is, it's going to be his turn next. There's nothing I could do about that. We tried all kinds of things on him. We tried to cast fear on him. We tried to get him to flee. Nothing worked. He is going to turn around and cast darkness. Let's counterspell that. That's why we have it. Nice. And he just basically wasted his turn. Oh, he healed for four points. Oh, crap. He ran over to... Can't seem to find them, he says. Huh? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> what the heck was that? He feels threatened. Okay, so he's got 35 hit points left. Um... So far, so good against this guy. Now I just want to do a bunch of damage to him to see if we can't just um, finish him off. I don't... I, I guess it's possible we could finish him off before his next turn. So, uh, Shadowheart, why don't you... Um, yeah, that's necrotic. Fear, bestow curse. Oh, I, I don't have my companions here helping. Oh, that's okay. Um... Well, good old Firebolt. 45% chance, what? 35%, okay, why Why so poor chances here? What's up with that? Oh. Well, that's how fear works. I'd be casting fear on my own peeps too, I guess. Weird. Why such poor chances against this guy? I don't like that. Hmm. Well... I mean, I could just hit him with my mace. Oh. Choose how to react. Okay. What? Okay. Did I hit him? I don't even know what the heck just happened. Shadowheart used main attack. 
hitting for nine bludgeoning, received condition arcane acuity, and then did four points of poison damage. All right, good job, I guess. A rough tempest I will raise. Okay, so he's standing right in front of you now. Poison spray. Yeah, let's see how this works. 17 points of damage. He's down to five hit points. I can't even catch my breath. <laughs> Fox is getting a little fed up. <laughs> uh, we need to do five points of damage to him. And uh, we could do that with... Um, this, this and it whispers. Okay, we got him. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to do that. He seemed like a really cool guy. But, oh well. Say lovey. Let's see what he's got on him. He's got a spear. Uh, some leather armor. He's got arrow of roaring thunder. And a note that says return at once. He who was, what ails thy mind? The clean, the clean, the queen was clear. A full retreat to the shadow fell with all due haste. You beheld the fate of lover's whisper. After a ten day in the darkness, she knew not her name. These lands are rich in tragedy and memory, but our minds are vulnerable to the malignant curse. Lover's Whisper strangled her own raven this morn. Her raven. The queen was incensed at the loss of her child and struck Lover's Whisper down, as was her right. Return at once, or I will be forced to report your desertion of thine will. What is going on? <laughs> the queen? Who's the queen? The queen of what? Full retreat to the, sh the Shadowfell. Wow. Well, he's dead now. I'm going to take this note. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, we had this book Harvest of Memory that might make a little bit more sense now that I understand that it's referring to he who was. This, there it is. Brought to the Shadowfell. I'm going to skip this part. Brought to the Shadowfell by their Raven Queen, the Shadar Kai are elves. Not elves as you might find along the Sword Coast, but elves that reflect their home with their physiology and attitude. On the whole, they are cruel, nasty-minded people who are nonetheless singularly devoted to their queen and her domain of power. That domain is life and death, and in their unwavering fealty to their mistress, the Shadar Kai perform the thankless duty of ferrying the memories of the dead for her to admire in a kind of memory-based menagerie. Okay, well, I don't so, feel so bad about killing this guy. Uh, what Shadowfell... <clears throat> excuse me, hold on. Uh, thank goodness for the mute button. Uh, Shadowfell is a reflection of the world you're in and a dark reflection too, rife with wickedness and twisted echoes and despair. Yeah, I think we did the right thing. We seem like nasty people. I mean, he just wanted to ferry the memories of the dead to his queen for her to admire. That's messed up, yo. So, he must have been told to bring her some... Someone guilty or something, I don't know. Uh, we couldn't loot Madeline before because he would not have liked that. Anything of use? But he's not around anymore, so we could help ourselves to some rotten chicken eggs. Uh, some camp supplies. Some camp supplies considerable amount of gold and the raven over here has nothing I'm pretty sure we tried to speak no to her before does not stir oh, okay it will answer. Answer no yeah so questions. we talked to her before I don't remember what she said unfortunately uh, oh there's Madeline's ledger there he, he left it on the ground Take it. Oh, Gail has it now. That's okay. So, there's just some stuff sitting around. Trays and a sickle and stuff. Boy, he left quite a mess over here, I must say. 
junk all over the place. Well, like I said, that's not how I wanted that to go, but now that I read a little bit more about the Shadow, Shadow Kai or Shadow Kai or whatever they are, Shadow Kai, I don't feel so bad. He, he's a gloom weaver. Interesting. So, uh, we looked at our quests before, and they, the majority of them take place in Moonrise Towers. Right, I think all four of these do. This is in the mausoleum. And this is, yeah, this is art we need to wake up. Uh, Zevlar's probably also in Moonrise Towers and Maul. I don't know where Maul, at, Maul is, just keep an eye out for Maul. So, we could head back to last light in to wake up art but i think i want to save that for the beginning of the next episode um so we are going to go back there though because i want to i want to see where this goes because we didn't go this way so let's just go take a peek over here got some blast mines here which I mean I could disarm them but they're really for the last light in and I don't want to lessen their defenses but I also don't want to walk over it I could take my peeps over there one at a time so that we don't step on them what am I going to do Fox has made it through. Move unseen. <laughs> He's still sneaking. Okay, we'll have him walk through here. Here, turn hmm. Shadow Heart. Okay, Gale's turn. Ripe with magic. That woman sobbing that you hear, we already spoke with her. Okay, let's get the gang back together. Never a dull moment. Okay, so... <laughs> as if this place isn't big enough. <laughs> What's going on up here? <laughs> Good freaking grief. Well, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what's out here. It's a beautiful piece of music that's playing. Open up. Nothing in there. Some empty crates over here. Victims of the Shadow Curse. At least they were afforded a burial. Oh. Oh, good grief. Look at me digging graves. Shame on me. Okay. We'll leave them buried with their trusty dagger. Oh, here's an open grave up here. Open grave. Bones and a skull. Nothing. Wow. Surprised I could climb up here. Oh. Oh. Okay. At least somebody passed the perception check. Let's see what's in this rubble. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. Who's the strongest person on my team? <sighs> Probably Shadowheart. Too heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy. Well, no one do, back home whenever do I still have that giant potion? Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Drink it. Fox is now very strong. Fox? A flaming fist. Someone beat her to a pulp. Huh. Okay.
One gold piece. A shield of scorching reprisal. Shield bash. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed a dexterity saving throw. Grants resistance to fire damage. Blazing retaliation. Local rumor claims a devil's tear gives these city militia shields their fire, much to the chagrin of the barracks blacksmith. <laughs> and this bra blazing retaliation. Uh, huddle behind your shield to increase your armor class by one and reap scorching retaliation upon attackers who miss you. When an attacker misses you with a melee attack, they take one to six fire damage. Sounds like a pretty cool shield. I don't feel like anybody on my team really is... I mean, maybe... Oh no, I don't want to pick up the body. What's that? What? I didn't really want to pick up the dead flaming fist. I accidentally did that. Um, okay, camera. Quit acting weird. Why are you... Did I press that button to make it go weird? Huh. Well, I, p I picked up the flaming fist. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to do that. But I'm strong now, so I can do it. So let's just lie the flaming fist down on the ground. And, um... I f flung him over there. There, we'll just send that on back to camp, and then maybe one of these days I'll think about it again, but I probably won't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being all serious over here. You can't see me. No one can see me. Got over and through. We boss. I bet that will fit in my pack. I don't know, man. There's not a lot of room left in your pack. So, this isn't a path. There's another grave here. It has a liar in it. I don't need that. More weave moss. Listen to the sounds out here, man. The wind howling, the... Creatures in the night. So it looks like there's a path that leads this way. And. Oh, interesting. Looks like we could get back to the last light in right there. There's something here, I'm not sure what. Actually, this looks like just a little beach. Uh, but I'm worried that if I go down there, I'll trigger something, and I don't want to do that right at the end of an episode. So we're going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll go ahead and walk down to this beach, just check it out, see what's down there, and then uh, we'll go see if we can't wake up all art colored. That's what we have to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, and thank you to everybody who leaves me comments. You guys are so cool. You'd like uh, tell me things or remind me of things that I don't think of. For example, uh, I recently got a comment that uh, reminded me that I could cast Long Strider on our familiars. And heck, maybe even on um, the uh, spiritual weapon that she could cast. It's just not something I thought of, but I really appreciate you just leaving that comment and, and being cool about it, you know? Just be like, hey, you could do this. And I thank you. Thank you to everybody who takes time to leave likes and comments if you did enjoy this episode. Won't you be one of those people? Leave me a like or a comment. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.